Hey, what's up guys? Aiden here for Civic Minded. Today I'm going to show you another little Honda trick that I have just learned, and that is climate control raw sensor input values. Um, you might be familiar with this, you might not. Basically what it is, is it allows you to, on the climate screen here, it allows you to monitor all the raw sensor data that's coming into it. So like interior temperature sensor, outside temp, uh, evaporator temp, which is really important if you're trying to make your AC more efficient as I am. This procedure should be applicable to pretty much any Honda with automatic climate control. Uh, in the 9th Gen Civic, that is the 2013 to th through 2015 EX and EXL, the 2015 SE, and all model year hybrids. So I am currently in accessory one, as you can see. So I have my screen, but climate doesn't work. If I go to accessory two here, you'll notice that I can turn the climate on and off. I can turn front defogger, rear defogger, all that good stuff. So the way you enter this mode is from either, well, actually you can do it from accessory two when you're starting the engine, but basically you want to start with the climate system off. While the climate system is off, you're going to want to hold down auto and recirc at the same time then you're going to want to turn your car on or start your engine, so go to accessory 2. The shop manual for this car says you have to do this with the car in position 2 and then start it. You don't. You All you need to do is just do this and then turn the car on or go to position 2. So I'm going to go to... I have these held down. I'm going to go to position 2 now, which may require two hands. So you see I have these held down. If I hit the button here and go to position 2, see everything turns on, but climate screen looks a bit different. So you see it's flashing a one and then a zero zero. That one is the sensor number that it's looking at or you're looking at. And the zero zero that just changed to an 18 is the position or the reading of that sensor. So I think this one is the mode control position. So this thing, let me verify that. It is indeed mode positioning. So we're in vent mode right now. You see the uh, sensor reading is zero percent. If I change to defrost and feet, it goes up, up, up to, I think, wow, 83%. And if we go to just feet, it goes down to 56. If we go to vent 10 feet, 19%. And then if we turn the full front defroster on, you'll hear the fan spool up. It goes all the way up to 99 or 100%. Uh, to advance to the next sensor, hit the rear defogger button. So there's number two, that's the interior temperature in degrees Celsius, keep that in mind. So right now it's 26 degrees Celsius in here, that is about 79 degrees Fahrenheit. I would agree with that. Uh, if we go to number three, that is the outside temperature, which is showing as 22, but that says 70 degrees Fahrenheit. 22 degrees Celsius is about 71 to 72 degrees Fahrenheit. So number four is the light sensor. That's showing zero, obviously, because we're in a garage. Number five is the evaporator temperature sensor, which is 26 degrees. That's rather hot. That's interesting. Yeah, the evaporator warms up really quickly in these cars, so just keep that in mind. Uh, number six, what is number six? Number six is the position of the blend door. The lower it is, the colder the air mixture is. So it's, I said it was 26 in here. I have this set to 77 Fahrenheit, which is exactly, which is exactly 25 Celsius. So it's gonna try to make the car colder if I was to start it. Hit this button again, number seven. I believe that's another percentage. That's the recirc percentage. So all the way open. If I was to close this all the way, you'll see that's going up. And all the way open is 0%, so, or 27%, that works too. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure how this calculates where to put that. Uh, number eight is vehicle speed. Number nine, number nine is, it's listed as vent temp. I would rather doubt that the air coming out of the vents is 47. That could just be the uh, heater core temp, maybe. I'm not sure. Oh no, wait, that's engine coolant temp, so that would make more sense. So 47 Celsius, that is about about 116 degrees Fahrenheit. The uh, car has been dormant for about two hours now. It's, it's not 71 degrees Fahrenheit outside, it's more like 60. But that once again makes sense. So 
this one is the vent temp, and that makes a bit more sense, because the evaporator is not running. Well, that may be residual heat from the heater core. Uh, this one's a little weird. I've, I've been getting weird, weird, re weird readings from this one, so... And then this is the in-car humidity sensor, so 35%. The sensors above B are going to be a bit different depending on whether you have the hybrid or non-hybrid. I have the hybrid here. Uh, on the non-hybrid, sensor C would be the software version. Uh, on the hybrid, it appears to be the heater core temperature, which is a bit more important in the hybrid because when you're auto-stopped, that can drop, so yeah. Uh, sensor D is the electric AC percentage. I'm going to turn it on. See, that goes way up, maybe. Yeah, it's, I can hear it spooling up. So it's running now. And if I turn that off, it just goes back to zero. Because I'm auto-stopped right now, so I don't have the gas AC on. And nothing happens there if the gas AC is being used, so yeah. And then E would be my software version. But then if you want to return to your normal climate screen, you'll either just turn everything off or push auto again. You'll see you'll go back to the normal climate screen. Here is the list of sensors in the service manual. Each sensor has its number, what it reads, and what unit it reads that information in, or displays it in, rather. Note that the ones that display temperature can output a negative number. That is handled as shown in this table. So I'm going to open my garage now and... We'll actually test this with the car running so you can see the evaporator temperature drop. As the car is turning on, the climate screen will momentarily go blank. That is when you want to hit these two together and then release them once the car is on. So let me do that now. All right, so the compressor just clicked on. We are in full cold mode. Number five, evaporator temperature is now, it's dropping pretty quickly because the compressor just clicked on. That should go down to about 10 degrees, which is 50, exactly 50 degrees Fahrenheit. It might get a little colder if the outside temp, I think the outside temp has something to do with that, but since I, I tried it this morning, it was like 50 degrees out this morning and it went down to three degrees Celsius, which is much lower. The compressor is not released yet. Okay, I think the uh, hybrid electric AC just kicked on, so the, I went for a drive yesterday, it was about 77 Fahrenheit out, and uh, the electric AC kicked on about this point, so that's that. Number six, we're about half and half cold and warm, so interior cabin temperature is 26 degrees, so it's right about where I have it set. If I was to make it colder, fans revving up, we don't have access to the temperature unfortunately, but that should drop. And now, as you can see, we're more cold. Sorry if I'm spouting stuff off here, but evaporator temperature is mostly the same. Let's look at our vent output, which is A. Oh yeah, I would agree with that. And then if I turn the car off, it'll just turn off like that. But that's pretty much it. If you've got a wow, oh wow, that was a delay. I just turned the car on and the screen just started. But hopefully you learned something. If you need to diagnose a sensor on your climate system, that is how you do it. Uh, let me know what other Hondas this works in. And as always, if you have any questions, you can feel free to leave me a comment, video response, shoot me a message. And also, as always, drive safe, have fun, and I will see you in the next one.